Hi everybody, Jeff here with another episode of Jeff Attempts. So I'm here to talk about some really exciting things. Everybody wants to know about water supply pipes in their house. So part of that is what used to be in houses. So before 1960, most houses had what's called galvanized pipes. Galvanized pipes was actually the answer to lead-based pipes or lead pipes. Lead pipes were actually a great thing at the time. They were soft, easy to bend and shape around different areas of the house, easy to connect. Of course, the small downfall was, you know, lead poisoning. But galvanized pipes came along. They're a rigid uh, pipe. Galvanized mean that they had a zinc coating to keep corrosion down. Of course, after so many decades in use, that uh, lining of zinc actually starts to degrade and they start corroding from the inside out. In fact, uh, one of my uh, clients gave me a great pipe talking about how much corrosion there is. He, I, there's a better picture for you right over here about what that corrosion looks like. Uh, with the corrosion though, it uh, causes some issues with your house. One of the uh, smaller issues is actually causing some staining in your sinks, your bathtubs of that rust brown color staining. So that's one way to know that you've got galvanized pipes. Another way is restricted water flow through your fixtures, especially if you've got you know one person showering, another one running the washing machine, another person flushes the toilet, really brings down your water pressure. And then the other big thing, of course, is leaks. A lot of times with galvanized pipes, they uh, cause uh, pinhole leaks with the corrosion from the inside out. And that can cause some major destruction to your house, of course, having water pooling up behind walls. Uh, not only uh, destroys the walls, but uh, can cause mold and mildew growth if that just sits there a long time. So, how do you know what kind of pipes you have? So right here, I've got copper pipes and the newer PEX plumbing as well. And a quick and easy way to identify what kind of pipes you have, especially if uh, your unfinished basement, if you have an unfinished basement, if the pipes have been painted over, it's really hard to tell. Quick way is if you have a magnet. And so a magnet will not adhere to copper, brass, or plastic, but guess what? It will adhere to, I got a cat yelling at me in the background. He doesn't like it when I'm, one second, Bob, we'll be with you. Uh, Galvanized pipes are the only pipes that actually will have magnets uh, hold to them. Lead won't either. And if you do have lead base, or excuse me, I always call it lead base after lead base paint, but lead pipes, um, you'll be able to see they often have a balloon like shape to it at fittings. And uh, if you uh, scratch them, they'll be easy to scratch and uh, kind of a soft metal. So be careful of that as well or be aware. If you have any questions with what kind of pipes you have, the best thing to do is talk to a plumber. So what to do if you have lead or more likely galvanized pipes with these uh, pre-1960s homes is to uh, determine what you want to get next because if they are starting to have leaks, if they're starting to uh, restrictions in water flow, you want to go to either a copper pipe or a PEX plumbing. And uh, talk to uh, some different plumbers about how many fixtures you have because the number of fixtures uh, leads into how much it's going to cost. And I'll link another uh, web page in here that can give you some estimates. What's a fixture? What's a fixture? Oh, that's a good question, Jen. A fixture is anything that uses water, whether it's a sink, shower, or a toilet, that is considered a fixture. So each fixture has a water line running to it. And of course, if you have a single level house with an unfinished basement, that's going to be the least expensive. The mo more expensive is going to be a finished basement or multiple levels above the, uh, the basement level, having all that plumbing running through it. Did you show the corrosion? Ooh, I did, and um, I'm going to show it again, but That's I have a little the, picture no, right the here. the corrosion hole. The corrosion hole, I did. And then I, I'm showing another picture right here. You don't see it right now, but it's going to appear right here with the Got magic it. of video editing. Yeah. All right. Well, that's about all I got right now. That's enough of me talking. Have a wonderful day and take a look at your plumbing throughout your house. Bye now.